Lucky for us, one of MediaWise's teen fact checkers, Isaac Hart, joins us now. Isaac, first, uh, it's so great to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's not every day that we have a teen expert on the show, and you know that I'm obsessed with the teen fact checking network. So first, just tell us, why did you get into fact checking? Well, thank you for having me, Savannah. Um, I got in after seeing a social media repost uh, by a MediaWise ambassador. I believe you're one, too. Um, uh, I saw this repost and I thought, well, that'd be a great opportunity. It could help me improve my writing. Um, and that was where I got started uh, and uh, applied. And much to my surprise, I was accepted uh, and had fun ever since. And I certainly got much better. I'm excited about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, so let's talk a little bit about how you do this. I know when we talk about sharing, before you share anything, a lot of experts say just stop, pause, don't share something, take a moment. But then what do you do from there? How do you spot false information? Um, so what we want to do is we want to look to see where the information is coming from. And that's a big part that's highlighted in the piece you just had, um, is to see who's producing the information. Is there any bias? Is there any reason that they're going to produce this? Like, is a bias? I said, um, and then we are also, one of the simplest things that people don't realize, fact-checking is not rocket science. It's so easy. Um, as quick as a Google search, and you can see fact-checking by other news organizations, right? The Washington Post has a lot of fact-checks. You all do a lot of fact-checks. Um, and we see the, we see these fact-checks, and that is a great way to see if information is real. And then there are other ways um, by using a reverse image search. There are other skills, but the important thing to emphasize is that it can be as simple as a Google search, um, and that fact-checking is something that everyone can do, and it's not, you don't have to be a journalist that spends six hours a day uh, looking for claims. And Isaac, I've got another question for you that I think is a really important one because a lot of people might be dealing with this in their own home and with their family. I know one of your tips is to think about how something makes you feel. If you see a headline that makes you really emotional because that can kind of trigger some things and I think a lot of people are dealing with that with family. How do you tell someone that something they posted might be misleading? How do you approach that with your family? What's your tips on that? I think the most important thing would be is approach it from a kind standpoint. Don't yell at someone, don't get angry, don't make fun of them. For believing something talk to them about why this might not be real and help show them the evidence and that can be a really great way to make sure that they understand how to get this good information that they need and that's important for them to be able to function in society and i think we recently like this is a more fun example but recently fact a video about dancing robots and um uh, there these robots were like it was a new year's video it was on youtube um and we did a Google search and it came up with an article from CBS Boston. And it turns out that this company that made the video is called Boston Dynamics. They're a reputable robotics company from Boston. Um, and they had this, this excellent, CBS Boston had this excellent fact check about it that explained that they have worked with the US military and they have all these great credentials. And yes, this video is real. They really did program their robots to dance to Do You Love Me by the Contours on New Year's. Isaac Hart, thank you so much for everything you're doing. And we have to note that uh, behind him there is Steve Kornacki's book, The Red. Yeah, I know. I saw that, too. I love it. You're a Kornacki fan just like we thank are. You. Isaac, also, I yeah, almost I didn't get the book finished. With, yeah. <laughs> I know it's a big oh, one. Huh? Sorry. Isaac, I almost yeah. didn't recognize you without a bow tie also. But I like the turtleneck turtleneck's, look. Yeah. Turtleneck's good, too. Yeah. yeah. I like thank a turtleneck here. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, you Isaac. Have a great morning. Thank you. <laughs> you, too. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.